Let's talk about freedoms. So as an entrepreneurial advisor, one of the main reasons I got into this industry was the freedom to serve, right? The freedom to design my business around the way I wanted to do it. And so when I entered the industry, I entered, as you guys might remember, through one of the larger financial planning firms in the country, large insurance. I went through large banks. And what I realized quickly is that I didn't have that freedom. When you enter those kind of firms, they have a playbook, right? A menu, if you will, that allows me to kind of be within their norms and not step outside of those and violate any of their kind of worries, right? So they don't want a lot of people going in a lot of directions. So they have these pre-structured ways of taking care of their clients. So you could think of it like uh, a traditional school versus say somebody decides to school on their own, right? There, there's a curriculum, there's kind of a, a step to the process that teachers have to go through when they have a large classroom versus say somebody that wants to homeschool or school their children in a different way. They can kind of follow their own interests or the things that their children might have as gifts and talents so they can accentuate those. Or maybe you use the analogy of somebody that's a restauranteur, right? And they want to start their own hamburger business, right? Their own restaurant that's focused on really cool hamburgers. And then the other guy who does the same thing but buys into a franchise. The franchise uh, person has to follow the rules of the franchise. The menu is set this way. This is how we build the burgers. This is how we market the burgers. This is the price you'll charge. Whereas the other person has more freedoms to be creative and to serve people the way they want. Matter of fact, if that hamburger restaurant over here that isn't the franchise decides they want to start selling tacos or pizzas, they can do so. Whereas inside the franchise, they're going to be limited and can't do that. So the freedom to serve is super important as an entrepreneurial advisor, right? It allows you to structure and take care of clients in a way that makes the most sense for you and for them, right? So let me give you a couple of examples. So I have a number of clients that are entrepreneurial. They have a lot of their net worth in businesses, right? So they own real estate and they own their actual companies and they have a lot of equipment and things like that. If I was at one of those large firms or large insurance companies, there isn't a lot of product for me to help them with, right? Because all their assets, all their net worth is really tied up into their business or into their real estate. It's not money that I can move into portfolios and sell them as a, as a registered rep, sell them a, a financial product, right? So it's harder for me to attract those clients and it's harder for my big firm to support me in a way that I can help them, right? Because they want me to sell them stuff. Whereas if I'm an entrepreneurial advisor, I can take that same clientele and I can guide them and be an advisor to them and I can charge them an advisory fee, right? A financial planning fee that makes sense for the work I'm doing. It takes into account their net worth or the efforts and allows me to, to take care of them very, very well and still make a living at that. So it allows me that creativity to work with the kinds of clients I enjoy being around and I can still make a nice living doing so. So the freedom to serve matters not only in how you structure your business and the way that you, you know, conduct yourself in your business, whether you have an office or you're working from a coffee shop or from a home office or whatever, it also has to do with how you generate revenue. And because I have that freedom, I can generate revenue much simply, right? Much more simply. So I can uh, be more selective of the clientele that I take in. So if I was at that big firm and I'm working at say a regional office or a bank, I'm at a branch, I have to pretty much serve whoever comes through the front door. Whereas on my own, I can be selective and I can select the people that I wish to work with, right? So that I don't end up with clients that are a drag to be around or don't have any money or are a pain in the ass or whatever it might be, right? So you might've seen my other videos on how to avoid pains in the ass clients. You can't do that if you're at a big firm and they expect you to take care of everyone. So freedom of service, freedom of design of your business is the reason to be an entrepreneurial advisor, right? It's so much more rewarding. It's way more flexible and it's way more profitable to you because you can get rid of all the low hanging fruit, the stuff that the big firms make you do that really don't do anything for you, but keeps their, their economy, if you will, within their organization socialized. It's all the same. So again, do this to not only attract the types of clients you like, 
to design the work that you enjoy doing. So maybe you have an expertise working with small businesses or an expertise working with executives or an expertise working with young professionals, whatever it might be. It allows you to focus on those things, right? It's way higher satisfaction levels for you and it's way more profitable. So this came out of, again, discussions that I'm having online through our insider groups and through my coaching sessions. And it's also coming from comments on videos like this. So I'd ask a couple of things from you. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe below, right? Click the button below, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And I wanna ask you a question. These kinds of topics are coming out of other questions. So do you feel like you have the freedom to serve where you are now? Or what's the biggest handcuff to you that you really wanna break free of? Tell me below in a comment, subscribe, give me a like, and if you want more of this content, you can check out my website, True Measure Advisors. I've got a lot of free content out there to help you grow and launch your own, your own firm, right? Your own entrepreneurial firm. So get out there and do it, and we'll see you in the next video.